In the heart of Rome, between the ancient architecture and rich history, a different kind of legend was born. A player who is synonymous with passion, loyalty and an undying love for his football club, AS Roma. Today we'll talk about a tale of unwavering dedication and perseverance, a player who conquered not only the Serie A, but the entire world, perhaps the most loyal player of all time, Francesco Totti. Also, I'm a little sick while recording this, so to these guys, I'm sorry, it's gonna be even worse this time. Totti started his career at Roma in 1989 when one of their youth coaches convinced his parents to join Roma's youth team instead of Lazio or AC Milan. After three years in the youth team, Totti made his senior debut in 1993 in a 2-0 win over Brescia, at just 16 years old. The following season he would get more regular playing time as well as score his first goal against Foggia. However, just as he was starting to catch more steam, Roma would underperform during the 1996-1997 season, while Totti struggled to get playing time under a new manager. He was even rumored to join some on loan. Luckily, Roma's chairman Franco Sensi vetoed the transfer and he stayed at the club. The next few years would be a period of both physical and mental growth for the player. Huh? Under new coach Zeman, Totti became more physically fit, hardworking, and an overall more complete player. This led to him getting played as a left winger, a role which gave him the opportunity to take on defenders in 1v1 situations and cut inside to shoot with a stronger right foot. He scored double digit goals for the first time in his career during the 1997-1998 season, totaling an output of 13 goals and 7 assists. A strong 0.66 goals or assists per game at a young age of 21 years old. The season after, Totti would become more and more recognized as a club symbol and a leader, which led to him becoming a Roma captain, a feat he achieved at just 22 years old, making him the at the time youngest ever Serie A captain. Furthermore, he was awarded the Serie A Young Football Player of the Year award after scoring 12 goals and assisting 10, as well as helping Roma get a fifth place finish in the league. Roma sacked Zeman and appointed Fabio Capello as new head coach, who utilized Totti as more of an attacking midfielder because of his play making abilities. During the 2000-2001 season, Totti scored a total of 13 goals while assisting 3 times. Some of these goals were very impressive and insanely important, like against Parma in the final match day of the season, resulting in Roma winning their third ever Serie A title, finishing just 2 points above Juventus. On top of this, he scored and assisted in a 3-0 victory over Fiorentina, which led to him winning his first ever Italian Cup. He even got a 5th place finish in the Ballon d'Or in 2001. In 2002, Roma became the first Italian team in 35 years to win at the Santiago Bernabeu. Despite this, they only finished 8th in the Serie A. That same season, they played in the Coppa Italia final against AC Milan. Totti scored an insane 3 free kicks in both legs, but would ultimately lose 6-3. Nevertheless, he was yet again awarded the Serie A Football Player of the Year award after scoring 14 goals and assisting 4. The next season would be even more successful, as he scored an insane 20 goals, 7 more than his previous record. He also finished as a runner-up in the Scudetto race behind AC Milan. Totti continued to captain Roma and scored his 100th goal in the Serie A in 2004, just a decade after his first. However, in 2006, disaster struck. He sustained a serious injury in a game against Empoli, which was a huge blow for Roma's title charge. Additionally, this was the year that the 2006 World Cup was hosted in Germany, something he definitely wanted to be a part of. Italy manager Marcello Lippi had enormous faith in the player and promised him there would be a place in the squad for him. This encouragement fueled his desire to work even harder to overcome his injury and be ready for the national team. He eventually overcame came his injury just in time to be named in the 23-man squad that was ready to take on the world. There were initial concerns that he wouldn't be fit enough. He even played the entire tournament with metal plates in his ankle that hadn't been removed yet. Despite this, he played in all of Italy's games. He scored an important extra time penalty against Australia in the group stages and assisted a total of four goals before reaching the final against France, which made him the tournament's top joint assister with Argentinian legend Riquelme. Italy ultimately won the final on penalties. However, Totti was subbed off in the 61st minute in order to give France a chance. The success continued in 2007 as Totti finished his most prolific season with an insane 26 goals as he claimed the European Golden Shoe Award while Roma beat Inter to win the Coppa Italia before following it up with the Italian Super Cup, once again at the expense of Inter. Fast forward to the 2014-2015 season, Totti scored in a 1-1 draw with Manchester City, making him the oldest ever goalscorer in the Champions League at 38 years and 59 days old. However, this record was recently smashed by Pepe, Totti finally retired at the end of the 2016-2017 season, having played an insane 619 games in the Serie A, spanning 25 different seasons, putting him at the same level of fellow legend Paolo Maldini. Most football players don't even have a career that long, let alone at a single club. The longevity 
celebrity he had was something truly special. On top of all his appearances, he scored a total of 250 goals and gave 161 assists, earning him a second place finish in the all-time Serie A top goalscorer list. Behind Silvio Piola, he managed to win one Serie A title, two Coppa Italias and two Italian Super Cups. On top of this, he played in every game during the 2006 World Cup, despite having metal plates in his ankle. All to help Italy win the whole tournament. By this point, he's surely at the top of football Mount Olympus. He served as a true icon, especially to Ice Roma fans. In a time characterized by fleeting loyalties, it's amazing to see there are still those who choose to create an unbreakable bond between themselves and their club. It's safe to say he's one of football's biggest and above all, most loyal legends. The end of his career was the culmination of a legend that will, surely, never be eclipsed. Siete e sarete sempre nella mia vita. Smetterò di emozionarvi con i piedi, ma il mio cuore sarà sempre lì con voi. Also subscribe and leave a comment. I reply to those.